With the threat of the Oroville Dam collapsing, nearly 200,000 people had only minutes to get out of their homes and escape to higher ground. It was hectic. I had to pick up our kids. We have six kids. We left with nothing, absolutely nothing. Some parents grabbing their kids as quick as possible and leaving behind their shoes. Many families and children with bare feet made their way to the Silver Dollar Fairgrounds in Chico. And they also let us know once we got here, it's like, oh, we got diapers, we got formula, we got wipes, you know, anything you need for baby, we got it. So they really, you know, try to keep us, you know, in the loop with everything. Red Cross volunteers providing cots, blankets, and feeding crowds with a warm meal cooked up by the Salvation Army. Supplies are coming in by the thousands, and it's not just the Red Cross giving. Nonprofit groups and churches are also making sure that people who have been evacuated have what they need. We've been setting up cots since, what, 8 o'clock? Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been setting up, getting blankets for everybody. I'm just here to help. That's where I'm going to stay here. And like we could have left to our families, but we're just staying here and helping everybody. We've seen many examples of kindness. Donna Hansen evacuated without her children's phone number. And without a Good. cell phone, she got stranded at the gas station. It's been a long night. I am so cold, I can't stop shaking. The Shell gas station employee tried to help her, and we delivered her information to the Red Cross, who then gave it to the CHP on standby. The highway patrol rescued me with a lot of help, and Bill, Bill over at the Shell station, bless his heart. So you're seeing a lot of examples of kindness. Oh, yeah, very much. We're so glad you're safe. I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you. Okay. We were happy to see Donna make her way to the fairgrounds where she got a wheelchair and a warm meal and got to see that so many people really care. In Chico, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News.